This is the era of business intelligence analytics and Power BI is leading that. You want to learn Power BI? This is the channel for you. Beginner series, 200 plus videos, advanced series, 100 plus videos. And if you are absolute beginner, don't know anything in Power BI, then start with four live videos. Subscribe to the channel. Hello and welcome to another video on beginner tutorial series and in today's video we are going to discuss two power query functions and the functions are table.select columns and table.remove columns. Now what does the table.select column does? So table.select column takes an argument as a table and the columns which you want it to select and optional missing value means if the value is missing then you can say okay give me the null in that column. So you may not have a column and you might have asked to select it then you know you can say okay bring the null values into that one and it actually returns a table to you. So basically you are selecting a part of the table it means you are selecting the columns basically you are going to say okay I'm only need one column out of the 10 columns or something like that. So reducing the size of the table basically. So you say disable dot select column and here there are you know three columns and one of the column you want to select so you say name and you only get the name table with the name. Then here is an example see a customer name and name so it becomes a two column name two column table. Here it's giving a new column it's giving an error record doesn't found and in the next question is next one it says missing field value use null it means it's going to give you you know uh, null values in the field so we are going to take this example we'll copy this and you know try that out now here table dot remove columns now there we were selecting here we are removing so whatever column list you are going to give it's actually going to remove that so if you give that there's a phone number list here so phone number will get removed and you will get rest of the columns and then you give an address here now address was column is not available it's going to give error and similarly there is an optional column here now label uh, man number so remove columns give a table column list which you want to remove and then you can have a table so we need to go ahead and try that out so we have an examples out here what we should do and let's go ahead and try that out so let's jump onto the power bi power, power bi and in power bi to go to power query and use these options what we need to do go to home tab transform data transform data i have already loaded some data the data is coming either from the sales or from the pivot query table and i already have some data so i have this product table which contains column one column two column three column four now what i'm going to do is i'm going to promote this table as header so use first row as headers so now what i wanted to do is the one option is that i do it on this one but we want to try that out so what we are going to do is let's do it on another table and then experiment with those uh, things so let's say the column name of the product and what we can do is uh, we have these column names available here okay so let's make it a little bit bigger so while doing that new source we would prefer if you can see this table so names now we got a new source blank source and advanced editor now here from the product i want to let's say select certain columns so we have the column names let me do one thing product and let me copy these things as is so i don't have to remember so right click again on the query 7 query 7 i went right click advanced editor and what i'm going to do star star now if you remember the c plus plus or java comments this is how we comment and inside that one you can actually give it we will see whether it works or not so what we what i want to give here is table dot select columns and what i want to select i want to select let's say from the products and the good thing is that product tables name doesn't have space so i can simply give it comma the list of columns so in the double quotes let me start with one column name that's product name okay and i say done i got it now we also taught you distinct function and all those which you can use okay so now we got the product name can i add one more column here so right click advanced editor let's copy manufacturer comma manufacturer and you have to give it in double quotes otherwise you're going to give error okay in the double quotes so we got the manufacturers what happens if i give the wrong column name let's say s manufacturers we doesn't have it so it's going to say the column name is not found. Now when it is not found, we know there's an option we can give, which will actually allow us to have that. So let's give the third option now, missing field null value.
Now what happens? Manufacturers. We have manufacturer. We don't have manufacturers. So manufacturers column is missing. We are getting null, null, null values. And what is happening? Because this missing field dot use null is populating the null value. It means you ask to select certain column. The column is not available. It is actually, you know, adding all the values as null. Now the moment, let's say what happens if I give the correct column name now, manufacturer, it corrects it and there is no need of null here because all the column name which I'm giving are available. I can go and just add randomly add one more column here in the list A1, let's say, and you get the null values because that column is not available. Okay. So now we have learned how do we use table.select columns. So table.select column help us in selecting certain set of columns in a table. Now this is the same operation which you can do in the same table also. Like it is not necessary that here I, I only do. So I can go here in the advanced editor and let's say I do one more step here. Again, let me do uh, underscore one equals to table dot select column. And this time what I can do is I can use it on source, let's say. And let me select only one column from here product name. So it is not that I have to actually bring it from the other table reference. I can actually go ahead and do this in, as a next as the table step in the existing table and I can do the select column. Okay. So I've actually reduced in the same column, same table. Now we want to check the remove columns. So again, we'll take a new source, blank source under the home tab. We got a new query. So let me rename the seven one is select columns and this one is remove columns. Now here I go to advanced editor and here first step what I'm going to write down is remove and again I need the col column names basically. So let me sit down. Now let me go here advanced editor and let me copy this comment so that I get everything there. Now you know how to write down a comment. Advanced editor. And now we, let's write down the script. Table dot remove columns. And in the remove columns, what we are going to do is now let me give the product name again. And when I give the product name, you will see the result. So product name is table name. And I give the list as product name. Only one column name in the angular bracket and this time what do you see in the remove columns you actually see three columns because this is not select column this is remove columns so whatever column you have given that was removed and everything else has been given isn't it so everything else has been given now let's pick up this manufacturer and comma double quotes manufacturer let's add that as step also now manufacturer is also gone. Now what happens when I give manufacturers? It gives an error. Now, if you remember, we had some option here. Missing null, missing field dot, use null. Let's say, does it work here? So third argument, after the second argument, comma, third argument, missing field dot, use null. Now what has happened? Now this is not for you now. Now this is while deleting if there's a column name is not matching, then, you know, while removing, it can consider, you know, uh, null column and remove that. Or maybe you can tell, okay, it will ignore the error in that case. And if I say manufacturer, again, is going to, you are going to get only two columns. And this is just now optional argument, which is basically only going to handle when there is a missing column name or the wrong column name is there. So now we know how to do select column and remove columns. Now, so whenever you have a table and in the table you want to select certain columns or remove certain columns, you can decide what need to do. Now, how do we take a call select or remove? Now, if there are certain columns, if I select them and rest I want to remove, then I'll prefer the select columns. So there are four columns I always need and I don't need the other columns Then always prefer select column. If there, so let's say there are dates which is coming in as part of my columns. So dates can increase. Okay. So in that case, what I'll do? I let's say I want to transport, I want to unpivot certain things or I want to do them. Then we, so basically 
let's say if the tables are coming and I want to remove all those dates I don't know how many dates are going to come or let so what I'm going to do in that case so I'll say select certain columns one two three which I want and let whatever dates are coming let as a column let them remove now remove columns when I am sure that only the columns which are coming one two three let's say there could column and that can increase but I want all all the increase columns but I don't want let's say column a b and c always I don't want a b and c I rest all all I want even if the number of column going to increase then I'm going to say table dot remove columns so the call has to be taken whether uh, the selective column is important to keep or the column which you are removing are important to be removed so based on that take a call so go ahead and try these functions out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you